Hey friends, tonight we are making butternut squash curry. This is a nice hearty dish that you can have with rice or a flatbread like roti. You can also have it as a vegetable stew by itself because it's rich and delicious. Now I like to work butternut squash into the rotation because let's face it, you can't always be treating yourself. This is a super nutritious vegetable. It's loaded in potassium and magnesium. It's got vitamin C and B6 and it's a great source of fiber. All right, we want to scoop out the intestines of this squash. Here's the thing about ginger. Don't worry about peeling the skin because once you get it all minced up, no one's going to be able to tell whether the skin is on or off. We're gonna get started with heating up our coconut oil. We got the coconut oil good and hot here and we're gonna get started with the onions. Sweat these onions until they get light golden before we go to our next step. Not a requirement, but they're aromatics that really add to the depth of flavor. And what I have here in my hand is curry leaves. In Sri Lanka, they call this a brampa leaf. If you're lucky enough to have an Asian grocery store nearby, it's also called pandan. We are getting close here. The onions are sweating well. Let's start adding in some of the other ingredients. Minced garlic. Uh, I got my green chili. I got some mustard seed. thing. I like to add in my fresh garlic towards the end of the saute before the liquids start coming in because I don't want it to burn. Okay, I'm putting in my fresh garlic now and we're gonna get that nice and soft. Finally, uh, right before the liquid starts coming in, we're gonna drop our ground spices because we want those to the aromatics to bloom, if you will. And this is just, you're gonna do about, just maybe like 20 to 30 seconds. Hey friends, for custom blended spices delivered straight to your door, visit sanjayacookery.com. And now for the nectar of the gods. The coconut milk. I just added in 14 ounces of coconut milk. Now, if you're concerned about calorie density of the dish, you can certainly put in a third or a half, but it won't be as rich. And now for the solid gold. If you're a vegan, I would recommend vegetable stock, but if you would like, you can also use chicken stock in this dish. Okay, so I don't want the flavors of the butternut squash to be one-dimensional because of its uh, sweetness. And so in addition to the spices that I'm adding, I want to add a little bit of acid to give it some edge. Finally, we're gonna put the salt in. Man. 
So butternut squash comes in all different sizes. Now, feel free to scale this recipe depending on the size of your squash. Otherwise, you can take extra cubes and put them in a freezer bag for future use. So let's do our final salt level test and see if it's ready. I live in the upper Midwest. It's about minus seven degrees Fahrenheit outside, and I gotta tell you, the steaming bowl really hits the spot. 